basically, man's on a crochet, Maxfield, also known as Baghdad, which they're gonna knock down. It's still crazy to me that they're gonna knock this down and all that. It's a shame it's raining, like, where's, where's it? Every time I come, it's raining. Weather's never good. It's nice to get as much footage as I can. As you can see in the background, they're doing works. Try and get a better view. So yeah, here I am. Man's in crochet. And it's mad how they're just gonna knock this down, you know? This was a feared place to come to when I was young. When I say feared, mama, I remember one time I came here, and let me show you where I live, where I used to live. Just there. That's my estate right there. So it's a stone's throw away. Then over there, where I was standing the very first time, I don't know if you can see from the top line, that's basically Holland Town. As you can see right there, they're doing building right there already. Uh, yo, it's mad just looking at that. Like, first of all, yeah, let me just start my little run here. That school never used to be there. Yeah. Well, obviously Christchurch used to be there. It used to be Christchurch School, but the school never looked like that. The school, school looks much better. You know what? It's good for the children in that sense. And uh, that's mad. That was a car park and a block with bare blocks. No, that wasn't a car park. Actually, the car park was there where the school is. So they've extended the school to where the car park used to be. That used to be blocks there. And this is like the last remaining part, to be honest. You know, all of them used to have... Uh... God. My God, it's like I forgot how to use a camera, you know? Damn. But yeah, every block used to have these, bro uh, these bricks right here. And uh, growing up here, I used to call this the maze. Obviously, I knew where every road was, but like a lot of people who weren't from here, they'll come here and get lost because it was like a maze. Let me just see the other side. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Basically, I don't know, it's hard to zoom in. Do you see what these blocks used to be? You see where these blocks are, yeah? In between that block and where I'm standing, all, st all used to be full of blocks like this. So they've cleared the whole middle to get ready for building. They've already... What they did was they built the first part around here. Isn't it? So you can see it from this this spot right here. They've already finished this part. This part right there, they're finished. And they're building around and slowly knocking it down. And this is like the last remaining block. Obviously you can see my estate opposite right there. Um, just trying to get as much footage as I can, you know. So anyway, enough of me.
Damn, I wish I was bad at the camera, you know. So bad at the camera. But yeah, that's all I was saying, yeah, this was known as the maze. Like, if you don't know this area, you get lost and then robbed back in the day. Asbestos removal, keep out. That's as if that's a proper sign. You should have stopped people a long time ago. Obviously, people have already. already removed people and stuff. Is here. See right here, building right. So this is basically the last remaining block. Obviously, you got the edges right there, but they've done that nicely. They cleaned it up. They've already getting ready. For, looks like this block is ready for demolition. I don't think I'm supposed to be around here. So let me walk back. But yeah, when I was young, yeah, like, if I was ever caught coming to this area from my estate, I used to, I remember one time I got beats. I went to Fountain Place. Fountain Place is like, I don't even know if it exists no more. I think it's been knocked down now. Fountain Place is more in that direction there. And obviously, I knew my way because, you know, this is my ends. This is where I come from. And it's just mad. And yeah, I went to Fountain Place and then when I came back, all my friends was looking for me and my, one of my friends must have told my um, mum Oh, Charlie, you've gone to Maxfield. I wasn't allowed to go to Maxfield, so obviously my mum went crazy. I remember when I came, she said, I'm gonna tell your dad. Oh, my days. When I said my dad gave me the beats, my dad gave me the beats. I know people say like, oh, why people don't smack? You must be crazy, my dad's Irish, bro. Irish people are a bit different. He used to get, he gave me, he lifted me up and smacked the hell out of me, boy. But I deserved it, he warned me, he said, boy, don't come to Maxfield. Because I used to get scared, this was, this was a dangerous spot to be at. It don't look dangerous. Believe me, it is. Mad man, it's just crazy for me anyway. Actually, no, let me go the way I came in it. I like the way I came from. What's crazy as well is most of my most of my friends don't live here anymore as well. Most of my friends they've moved out to places like Streatham, place a bit further out of London. Not out of like still London, so it's not a big deal. But there's a lot of friends who don't live in Brixton no more. So I mean, there's a lot of youngers about. But you know, things have changed, man. You know, I'm happy I can still walk, walk down this block because 
when it goes, it's gone. And there's already parts of London I wanted to film, and it's just been knocked down. So, you know, it's a good and a bad thing. Like, like it's good that they're gonna make the area better. It's bad that a lot of it's not gonna go back to you know, people who need social hands, housing. What's good is this area was riddled with crime. And when I say riddled with crime, there was killers here, you know. A lot of killers came from this, you know, this block, this whole area here. And when I mean that, anyone that's from here knows what I'm saying. There's some real killers in this area. They used to duppy man and come back to the block and continue selling drugs like it was nothing. I can't judge people. You gotta make your money, you gotta do what you have to do. That was one bad thing. Because children would grow up, your father wouldn't be around. Or maybe your father's not the figure he, you would want him to be. And then you see drug dealers making money, making a thousand pound a day. What would you do? But then you know what? There's a lot of good people that came from this area that lived in this same block that ignored that. Even though all their friends were selling drugs or out trying to kill a next person who comes from a next postcode, they were studying, trying to go library. Instead of smoking weed and bunking school, they, made, they got the homework done and passed the exams. Salute to them guys, because there's a lot of guys in this area, these areas, who had immigrant parents who couldn't help them with their homework, but they still st studied hard, made their parents proud. And to them guys, whether it's a job or university, salute to you. Real talk, because you're the people who's going to change the earth. You're the people who are the real role models. And you don't even have to have a job if you have the attitude of progressing in life and helping others. Because for example, them knocking down this block is progression. But whether it's helping people, I don't know. It's helping some people though. So anyway, I'm going to leave the video here soon. Got love for my beloved Brixton, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's a lot of history that's down here, you know. There was a lot of wars that happened in Brixton, people don't understand. You know, this is my area. There's those brown blocks right there, that's my area. Including this block that went all the way down here. But you see those tower blocks right there? Those tower blocks right there. Those tower blocks was the enemy once upon a time. Not my enemy, but it was the enemy of this area. And that was just five minutes walk away. And me, for me, as a Brixton boy, walking down there was a problem. Because they might know someone that knows me, that knows me, and and another person that knows me. It might be like a fourth, con like a fourth uh, connection or something. And that's how they'll know me. Uh, them times have changed. It's not really about postcode anymore. I mean, it's still, you know, it's a shame that Brixton's divided, and man. Because there was a time when it looked like Brixton was going to come together. But when I was young, Brixton was divided. Even though we had beef with the other area down there, Brixton itself, we had beef parts of Brixton
yeah, people forget this is how close Baghdad was to my block. My block is just there, innit? So when I used to say, hey, yo, where'd you, what part of Brixton do you come from? But like, yeah, man. Man's from near Baghdad. Baghdad. He'd be like, what do you mean near Baghdad? Stop begging Baghdad. So I'm not begging Baghdad, but when I say Cowley Estate, most people don't even know Cowley Estate. And when I show them how, how close it is, basically there to here, that's the start of Mitesfield. And that's my estate right there. But basically like brothers. Because like basically people who lived around here knew people that lived here. So it's just natural. But yeah. I'm gonna leave this here. And then uh might film basically the houses that they built. Peace. So you can see here they created a place called What's it? It's Crochet Road right there. That's a new road that didn't exist. Where I was standing before in that block, that's Crochet, isn't it? So, that road was just made up. You know what I'm saying? So basically all of these yellow ones, they're all the new houses that have been built. Might as well walk through one of them still. I ain't, I ain't done that before. You know, I'll tell you what. It looks bloody nice. I'll give you that. Damn. It looks similar to Angel Town. Damn. Now, when, me growing up, when, when I was growing up, this whole area, I, I mean this whole area right here, all of this was a park. So everyone used to walk their dog in the park. Basically down there where this block was, was a, a famous dip. I don't know, I don't know what we called it in it, but it was like a dip in the park. Bear man used to play football there. Uh, let's walk down there. Looks like, Looks like there's a couple more blocks right here. Might be a couple more blocks here, I don't even know. I look weird holding the camera like this. Tell you what, yeah, looks nice, you know. Give me that, yeah. It looks nice, isn't it? So blessed. All them new. You know what? Yeah, it does look nice, man. I can't even lie. It looks good. You know what's funny, like, like if it was like 10 years ago, there's nowhere I'd walk through here with a camera. No way would I walk through here with a camera. That's dead. That camera would be taken off you. But you know, back in the day, 10 years ago, this wouldn't even be blocks here. Like, it would be a park. Like, the ground I'm standing on is supposed to be a park. But it's not a park. That's Mitesville South right there. They ain't touched Mitesfield South, it's just Mitesfield North, which we're basically standing. Basically all of this, this is looking nice though. I can't even lie to you, bro. It's looking nice. But that right there, yeah, that's, that's still Mitesfield North. That's still the original blocks. Maybe it's because it was easy to blend in, so they kept it there. But at least they kept something there. That's remembrance. But that's part of Mitesfield North that doesn't look bad. Yeah. It's still part of that looks looks alright. Yeah, these these buildings are quite high, you know. I give them that, bro. It's quite high. You know what? For memory's sake, yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, where my uncle Yao lived. Rest in peace. My beautiful uncle Yao, man. 
Rest in peace, man. You was a good man. You had to, uh, it's a shame you had to suffer, but yeah, I want to go to his block. Peace. Famous Mansfield South. Don't know. Walking down uh, Elwyn Walk. Tell you what, Elwyn Walk is a famous place, you know. Couldn't walk through here back in the day. You get turfed, you know the ones there? You will get turfed. But F it, man's gonna walk through here. And it has a, you know what, it has a similar layout to um, Mansfield North, which you can't see here. It's all different, you get me? What's crazy is that like, all this view right here, yeah, all used to be a park. That's crazy, you can even see a London Eye from here. So all this here yeah, was a park. I've, I've already said that a million times. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Just wanna walk to where my uncle lived. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, the architecture of this is quite, um, so it's similar to the one in the north. So this is Mansfield South. Mansfield North is basically what's been knocked down. That's where I was standing in before. And uh, in my opinion, it was more gritty here. Isn't it? it was more, it was more gritty there. Here, it, the blocks look quite nice. If, I, if I'm to be honest. As you can see here, uh, you can see it's similar, very similar to Mansfield North, the way that it's built. Just walk through it. Oh, damn, I just stepped in a puddle, man. That's dead. Stepping through a puddle. Walking through Church Green and that. And this is the famous one, they get me, Lord Holland Lane. The middle of the ends. This is still my part of Brixton, man. I used to come here quite a lot. Lord Holland Lane. They got Burton Lane. That's a famous lane right there, you know. when people give me weird looks and stuff, man. Looking at me like I'm gonna rob you or something. Well, I don't blame her. She'd probably be robbed a couple times still. But yeah, just walking, walking through Burton Lane to where my uncle lived, St. Lawrence Way. This is where he lived. Right here. Let me show you exactly where he lived. Basically lived right here. Right here where we're standing. Just here. You know what, it's emotional for me to even like, just look at that. Because that's the last place he was when he died, man. And he had a wife that thought, he, that was his wife, that loved him. No, knowing that wife, just wanted his money, you know, the ones there. Didn't even want, no love or nothing. She broke his heart, like real talk, before he died. And down there is A-Town. But yeah, I just wanted to show Mitesville South, Mitesville North.
bit of Holland Town, Cowley Estate. That's basically my part of Brixton where I came from. Yeah, th you know, that's my part. Angel Town and Loughborough are sort of like, they're so close to each other, it's almost like one state, but they look so different, you can tell it's different in state. But yeah, you know, it's just sad the way he died because he was such a great uncle, you know. He wasn't my blood uncle, but I had so much respect for him, I called him Uncle Yao. And, you know, he died lonely because the woman showed no love. She was supposed to look after him. He, he, he became uh, paralyzed as he got older. And she was supposed to look after him. And uh, she was actually seeing another man. I didn't want to talk about it, man, because... <sighs> I didn't even want to talk about it, bro. You know, some people can be really evil. And she was a devilish woman, you know. With her pretty smile and that, like she was evil, where well, she was. But I don't want to judge people anyway. But yeah, I'm a. I'm gonna end it here, yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. But yeah, this is basically, you know, what you see here. It's where I came from. It's my ends. I've got love for Brixton, man. A lot of love. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, feel free to dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Peace. But you know what, yeah? Just a little note, yeah? Just a little quick note. What they've built looks beautiful I'm not putting anything away from the people that built this this looks beautiful like it looks nice and clean so I don't want to sound like it's just all negativity it's not negativity like this is beautiful even though it used to just be grass so it's just nice to see that they're making some clean clean land out of this because before it was just full of dirt but now it's looking all nice so, I can't wait until it's done, see how it looks. Oh yeah, and just for information purposes, Fountain Place still exists. I made sure it still exists. They haven't knocked down all of uh, Mansfield North. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, so, peace.